Close your eyes for a moment and imagine this. It's the first day of your college and you're walking through the gates of AIMS. One of the most prestigious medical institutions in the world. You're not just walking in any medical college. You are stepping into your future. You feel the excitement, the weight of the hard work finally paying off. And the pride in your parents' eyes as they say, you did it. But here is the reality. AIMS isn't just a dream, it's a challenge. A challenge that only most focused students and disciplined students conquer. And you have got just four months left. Four months that can either make or break your dream. Sounds impossible, right? But let me tell you something, it is not impossible. In fact, four months is enough to turn your preparation around and secure your aim seat. If you follow a clear and actionable plan, and that's exactly why you are here today. This isn't about studying harder. It's about studying smarter. It's about maximizing your efficiency, focusing on high yield topics and building a timetable that works for you, not against you. Are you ready to make every second of your next four months count? I'm going to give you a timetable. If you follow it with the discipline, you'll walk into the examination hall with confidence and walk out knowing that you give it to your absolute best. Now, before sharing this timetable, this GOAT plan with all of you, I would want you guys to smash the like button as soon as possible and do share it with your friends because it took me a lot of efforts in creating this particular timetable for you guys. Now, let me just show you when it comes to this timetable, how many hours you are supposed to study from now on. I'm saying approximately we have 3.5 months left and every single day you guys are supposed to study for 16 hours because we have a very less amount of time so that's why you are supposed to study for 16 hours every single day sir is it possible can i follow this 110 percent it is possible and you can easily follow it because maximum number of students a lot of my students have followed this timetable before now guys what is the first thing you guys are supposed to do that is to make the to-do list what you are supposed to do in this particular timetable, you have to figure that out initially. Like for example, the most important things in the timetable is instant revision and daily practice problems. This is what you guys are supposed to do in every single day. That is instant revision, daily practice problems. Because if you follow these two, this will take you to the government medical college. This will take you to the aims. That is for sure. That is for sure. Then my dear friends, when it comes to the syllabus, we know syllabus is categorized three into three different categories. The first one is those chapters which are having the extremely high weightage. Then you have got those chapters which are having the moderate weightage. And then you have got the low weightage chapters. Sir, are we supposed to start with the high weightage, low weightage or the moderate weightage? I would suggest you at this point of time, go with the high weightage chapters. Start focusing on the high weightage chapters first. Learn the high weightage chapters because I want you guys to enter the safe zone first. I want you guys to get the safe marks first so that then we can basically go for the rank. I need to get this rank. I need to get that rank. First, you have to enter the safe zone. First, you have to enter the medical college. So first, you should go for the high weightage chapters. Now, my dear friends, now, my dear friends, let's start the session one. And session one will be exactly starting at 6 a.m. in the morning. Let's suppose you wake up by 5.30 a.m. in the morning and you'll be starting your session at 6 a.m. exactly. From 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Let's suppose this is the Monday. Okay. From 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. you'll be studying the physics. Okay. And then my dear friends, in physics, what you are supposed to do, you have to take those chapters first, which are having extremely huge weightage. Like you have electrostatics, you have current electricity, you have modern physics, you have optics, something like that. Okay, so you have to figure that out. What are the chapters which are having high weightage? You have to go with that first. And then my dear friends, while you are learning these chapters, we say, you guys need to make the notes extremely important. Sir, shall I take the notes of my friends, shall I take the notes of the teacher? You are supposed to make the notes of your own with your own handwriting. That's very much important because at the end moment, when you need to revise a chapter in just five minutes, this will help. These self notes will help. And formula sheet, very, very important. Okay. So formula sheet you guys are supposed to make like for a particular chapter, you are supposed to make the formula sheet in just in just one sheet. You have to write all the formula so that it once when you are uh, supposed to remember that later on, revise that later on, you can do that easily. And then my dear friends, once you are done with this, you have to take the 10 minutes of break. Okay. So while you take the 10 minutes of break, so we say 
from 9 a.m. to 9 30 onwards you'll be having what breakfast so this is you will be doing from uh, 9 30 9 to 9 30 then my dear friends from 9 30 onwards okay so this is the breakfast over here from 9 30 a.m to 11 30 a.m you'll be doing the question practice whatever you have studied over here let's suppose you have studied a complete chapter you have studied so many topics so whatever you have studied you have to follow the questions you have to do the question practice now a lot of people were, will be confused sir what type of questions what type of problems we are supposed to solve in this one first modules let's suppose you if you are an unacademy student so then unacademy module i can suggest you at this point of time whatever the questions you have in the unacademy module on on those particular topics you guys are supposed to solve those then we say previous year questions extremely important extremely important you guys are supposed to solve all the previous year questions whatever is on that topic sir are these previous year questions also present in the unacademy modules yes everything is present over there and my dear friends ncert questions when it comes to the physics go with the examples of ncrt and go with the exercise questions in text question for physics is not recommended that is recommended for chemistry and biology so this is what you guys are supposed to do when it comes to the problem practice of physics sir apart from this are we supposed to go with that book this book no no this is more than sufficient i am telling you module whatever you are following previous year questions ncrt questions examples examples plus exercise and if you have studied in any of the batches first so take the questions of that particular teacher also that is also more than sufficient now my dear friends from 11 30 a.m to 11 45 a.m you'll be taking the break you'll be taking the break this is the 15 minutes break that you guys are supposed to take because breaks are very much mandatory it will refresh you in between that's why then from 11.45 a.m. to 12.30 onwards, you'll be doing the instant revision. Sir, what is this instant revision? Whatever you have studied in the session one, whatever the problems you have solved in the session one, everything you guys are supposed to remember in this much amount of time. Sir, is it possible? Very easily is it possible. It is possible. Then my dear friends, afterwards from 12.30 onwards to 1.15, we will be having the lunch break, okay? Go for the lunch, okay? Have a proper lunch and then come back. We will have the session two, okay? Whatever we studied for the session one, that is more than sufficient. Then we will have, be having the session two. We'll start the session two exactly at 1.15. So from 1.15 to 4.15 p.m. we will be studying the chemistry. It completely depends upon you. Whether you will be starting with the physical chemistry, organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry. And I have told you, you have to pick up the high weightage chapters over here also. The chapters must be high weightage and whatever you are studying, it should be notes plus formula sheet. Okay. Now my dear friends, if there is a student who is saying, sir, I am learning in a particular batch. What am I supposed to do in that particular case? Guys, in this much amount of time, you can study as well as you can take the lecture of that particular batch. It completely depends on you. Sir, can we do the alteration of this one? Okay. Can we, if uh, I'm saying, sir, I'm not flexible with this particular thing yeah, or this particular thing, can I change it? Can I change the timing? You can make it flexible according to your, uh, according to you only. Okay. Then my dear friends, in this particular case, you guys are supposed to make the notes and the formula sheet also here, very important. And we say NCRT reading when it comes to the inorganic chemistry and organic chemistry, very much important over here. And then we say NCRT questions, be it the in-text questions, exercise questions or the examples, all of this is important when it comes to the chemistry. And then module, if you have the unacademy module, so you can go for that unacademy module also, that is what you guys are supposed to follow. Then my dear friends, from 4.15 to 4.45 p.m., you'll be having the break, you'll be having the break. Now, there are a lot of students who will be confused, sir. In the session one, you have given us the end of time, but in the session two, there is less time. Wait for me, wait for the end, wait for the end, okay? Then we will be starting the session three exactly at 4.45. So from 4.45 to 7.45 p.m., we'll be studying the biology. And here also we'll be taking the high weightage chapters when it comes to the biology. NCRT reading is very much important because 100% questions will be from the NCRT only. And then we say notes, okay, in this particular case you guys are supposed to make and NCRT questions, okay, examples, in-text questions, we say exercise, whatever it may be, the flow charts, diagrams, everything you guys are supposed to remember when it comes to the biology. Okay, then you have the 
question bank like modules an academy modules over there everything is present in that you can go for that also when it comes to the session 3 biology once you are done with this biology my dear friends listen to me very carefully from 7 45 to 8 15 you will be having the dinner break okay and once you are done with the dinner afterwards we say from 8 15 to 10 pm from 8 15 to 10 pm you guys are supposed to do the chemistry plus biology revision over here okay chemistry plus biology revision over here plus you can say previous year questions you guys are supposed to solve some of the previous year questions from that particular portion which you have studied in the session two and session three and my dear friends if let's suppose you are getting enough time over here you want to exceed one hour in this particular case some students say sir i can sleep at 11 also then then do the complete revision of whatever you have studied for the entire day physics chemistry as well as biology that's what i recommend over here now my dear friends there is a rotation of subjects what is rotation of subject this is mandatory when it comes to the rotation of subjects every two days let's suppose you have got monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday okay for monday and tuesday from monday and tuesday you'll be taking the session one as physics because in the session one you are getting the maximum amount of time it is not only you are supposed to give the maximum time to physics only no you have to give the equal preference to all the three subjects in order to enter the medical college so we say monday is tuesday you guys are supposed to give take the session one as physics when it comes to the wednesday and thursday you guys are supposed to take session one as chemistry and sure session two and session three will be physics and biology here in this particular case session two and session three will be physics okay sorry here it will be uh, chemistry and biology here it will be bi physics and biology and here friday and saturday session one is going to be biology and session two and session three is going to be your physics and chemistry physics and chemistry this is how you are going to rotate the subjects every single week now my dear friends listen to me very carefully on sundays what you are supposed to do on sundays you will have to basically go for the three minimum mock tests mock tests whatever you have studied for the entire week okay let's suppose you have covered like five to six chapters for the entire week so you need to go for the three minimum mock tests okay and my dear friends once you are done with these mock tests i would recommend you one more thing over here what is that that is that is the revision okay revision of everything whatever you have studied in the entire week that is very much mandatory when it comes to the sunday okay so my dear friends this was all about it okay there is completely a flexibility that i'm giving you over here if you want to change the slots according to your comfort zone you can do that that is completely permissible okay but make sure whosoever is watching this particular video follow the timetable for the next 3.5 months and you see the results that are going to come from this see in order to crack any of the competitive exams out there if you think that you are going in a messy you'll go in a messy way without the proper plan proper timetable proper strategy forget about entering gmc forget about entering aims forget about entering any of the iits out there if any of the j students is watching this because without the proper plan and proper strategy it is not possible so you should have a proper plan in order to enter any of the medical colleges out there so my dear friends follow this plan and then you see the results uh, that will come from this particular timetable okay and make sure you hit the like button and and in the comments do let me know do let me know what is the thing in which you exactly lag okay so that i can come up with a video in the next session so that we can answer those particular queries because these three months last three months last four months are very crucial for the students because i have seen in my entire career maximum number of students performing well for the complete two years but when it comes to the end moment they lagged over there and they couldn't enter the medical college they failed so if you want to enter you have to perform now you have to give your you have to give your maximum efforts then only you can enter the medical college tomorrow so make sure you share it with your friends and smash the like button and comment down below whatever the problem you are facing and my dear friends here you have if you want to enter the take an academies plus subscription we say at this point of time you'll be having nine plus nine okay so what is that get 50 percent off on all neat ug subscriptions and 12 months of free extension so if you take an academy's plus subscription you'll be having 50 percent off okay 
and uh, apart from that you'll be having basically 12 months of free extension on that particular subscription if you take it right now you can use my code y a w a r the link is in the description below click on that link and you will so thank you so much for this make sure you share it with your friends take care and bye bye see you guys in the next video thank you